what is the difference between praise and worship and how do we do it? We're talking about it today on Morning Meds. So if you're ready, then let's go. Welcome back to Morning Meds, where we meditate on God's word in order to tackle everyday issues that we face as Christians. Don't forget, if you like Morning Meds, be sure to like, share, as well as subscribe so that we can make it through this life together with the help of the Lord. If you said 222 times, then you were correct. Praise is mentioned 222 times in the King James Version of the Bible. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this day. We thank you for your goodness and your greatness. You are so worthy of our praise and you're worthy of our adoration, God. So we love you and we thank you for your greatness and who you are. We ask you, God, to forgive us for the wrong that we've done, said, and thought. We ask you, God, to bless every household represented in the name of Jesus. We ask you, God, to give us more uh comfort and more courage to do the things that your word says that that we are called to do so we ask you God to help us in Jesus name we pray amen throughout our Christian lives we may come to the realization that praise and worship are not the same things they cannot be used interchangeably against each other because they both hold different types of heaviness as it pertains to our Christian life <laughs> The first thing we want to talk about is praise. Praise is loud and boisterous. It's usually with instruments and song and dance. It's usually a high, joyous, loud, rambunctious. It is almost this radical party in the name of Jesus, in the name of his greatness, in the name of the mighty acts of God. Nine times out of ten, praise is not silent. Praise is the physical display of spiritual worship. Praise is a byproduct of worship. What is worship? Worship is total surrender. One Hebrew definition of worship is to bow down. Worship, put simply, is giving up your own glory in place of the adoration of someone or something else. So your glory can be translated to kind of like your pride, who you think you are, who do you know yourself to be? So worship is yielding yourself to who God is, to his glory, to his will, to his way. Our separation from the rest of the world and how the world lives is how we worship God. We worship him by how we set ourselves apart from the rest of the world. Not saying that we are better, but just saying that I have chosen to make my life line up with God's word. Now that we know that praise and worship are not interchangeable and that praise is vocal and loud and rambunctious while worship takes total surrender and total commitment to God's word. How do you know that you're truly worshiping? When your spirit, like when your inner man, your inner thoughts, your motives, your heart, those things that nobody knows that you're thinking but you, when those things, when you start to make those things line up with the word of God, when you start praying for those things to line up with the word of God, not my will, but your will, that is when you know that you are truly worshiping. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this day. We ask you, God, to keep us, Lord, allow your word to take root in our hearts. We ask you, God, to allow us to surrender to true worship, God, to surrender our will to yours. We ask you, Heavenly Father, to give us the courage to read your word and grow and to take 
heart in what it says and to not turn from that to the left or the right. We thank you, Father. We ask you, God, to allow us to be as, as strong and as willed as you are because you change not. And we ask you, God, to help us to get on your word and not change from your word. We love you, God. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye.